Praxis Prepper. Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and in this video I wanted to talk about something that could become a real problem for real people really soon, uh, and that is a access to food crisis that could be looming in the very near future, within the next 60 days or so. If you're paying attention to what's going on in the news, you know that there is a tug of war going on right now between the Democrats in Congress and the President Trump about uh, this border wall and everything. And I'll just say right now, I am going to be mentioning Donald Trump in this video, and I know that's a trigger for some people. Uh, some people, like, have very negative feelings about uh, the current president. Some people have very positive feelings about the current president. Uh, so I'll, I'll give you two comments you might think that you might, might, might like to leave, and they're both equally uh, uh, viable uh, for this video. You could leave a, pre a, a comment saying, Praxis, why aren't you 100% supporting the president all the time? You're a, I don't know, communist or something like that. That would be just as appropriate as leaving a comment that said, Praxis, why do you hate the Democrats? Can't you see they're trying to stand up for something? You know, why are you siding with Trump on everything? Both of those comments would be equally valid. I expect to see both of those comments in the feeds below. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of thumbs down, basically by people that are just getting triggered by some keywords that I say and aren't really thinking, uh, thinking about or listening to anything that I say. So. Enough with that. If you want to leave, ne leave a negative comment and save your time watching the movie, just leave it now and then you can leave. For the rest of us adults, let's talk about something that's actually going to be playing out over the next couple uh, months, and that is, again, this tug of war going on. Uh, right now, the government shut down, and we're already seeing, you know, some national parks, you know, shuttering some offices, Smithsonian shut down, lots of other things, lots of government workers are losing their payment, uh, you know, and I know people feel like a lot of government workers, they got these cookie, cushy jobs, you're overpaid, you know, whatever. You know, there are plenty of, you know, low paid government workers that are, you know, hurting now as well. Again, another opportunity for negative comments if you just want to do that and not actually think about any of this stuff. Down below, negative comments, thumbs down. Uh, yeah, so this this thing is playing out right now. Uh, my personal feelings on it is that uh, I I think both sides are kind of stupid. Uh, I think the the border wall is border walls have always been pretty stupid. They've never really worked in any kind of a complete fashion for any you know large civilization ever. I mean, even the Great Wall of China, which is probably the most successful application of a wall, you know, eventually the thing didn't end up working out anyway. Uh, so I think it's kind of stupid. It's, a, it's almost as though somebody asked the president to make a kind of a visual political representation of the old adage, like putting a Band-Aid on a bullet wound, and this is what he came up with. It's a good illustration of Band-Aid on a bullet wound. It's, you know, not really going to do much. The solution to this problem is something far more complicated than just putting up a wall. On the flip side, I think that, you know, the president is asking for $5 billion. That's a lot of money to you or me, but to the government, I mean, I know the military spent $5 billion on a toilet seat from time to time. You know, $5 billion in the scheme of the government is not a huge thing. You know, if it can get people fed in the end, I think that it is kind of stupid for the Democrats to be whining and fussing over $5 billion. Sure, I'd love to save that money, use it on something more useful than a stupid wall. Uh, you know, especially in this day and age, when we have like high-tech gadgets like ladders <laughs> and things like that. Uh, you know, so I think it's stupid to like get all fussy about $5 billion in the scheme of the national government. So I think the whole thing, I mean, it's theater, it's posturing. I, I imagine that President Trump knows that the wall is kind of a stupid idea too. I, I don't agree with him on most things, but I don't think he's a complete moron. I think, you know, he has a brain in there and, you know, he knows that it's theater and it's, you know, tricking people like you or I into getting all excited about, you know, the things we want to keep on the other side of the wall. Things, not people, things. So anyway, that's my thought on the thing, on this whole, uh, you know, fiasco going on right now. But the reality is it is going on right now. And whatever your personal opinions are on it, uh, it's happening. And what's going to be happening to a lot of people pretty soon is that their food benefits are going to get cut off. Another opportunity for negative comments below. You could whine about how you know people don't deserve food benefits. How they're all, every single one of them, 100% of everyone that gets benefits is a you know a potential working adult, and they're all lazy. You know, I'm sure there's some people like that, but you know, I know there's a lot of people that I personally met that you know could really use those benefits. Disabled people. There are a lot of disabled people that use that stuff. I know there's the stories about how there's plenty of people that aren't disabled that take advantage of them, but you know, whatever. There are a lot of people. 
that depend on them, maybe for good reasons, maybe for bad reasons, but for whatever reason they depend on these benefits, if those benefits go away, those people are going to react to that. And that is a perfect storm for riots, for people that are angry. They, you know, it's correctly said that our civilization is just a few meals away from savagery and, you know, you know, craziness and people riding the streets and everything like that. I know what that feels like, not like in even a major way. I, you know, I mentioned this story in an earlier video once where there was just one, one day when I was just really starving. I didn't have access to food and I, you know, and I was not literally starving. I was just kind of hungry and I could feel my whole moral compass kind of shifting to where it's like, you know, I wouldn't mind maybe taking something and leaving a, a sorry note or something because, you know, my stomach was sending messages to my brain saying, you need to eat something right now, <laughs> you know, whatever way that you can get access to it. And again, you know, that was just one day for me. I, you know, I'm very weak in that respect. And I'm sure there's a lot of other people that are like me that are, you know, not even going to take those 72 hours to start really going crazy if their benefits get cut off. So the reason I'm mentioning, that, mentioning this is that, you know, be aware of that. Uh, kind of towards the end of January, Going into February, these benefits could start getting cut off to people. Uh, and if you live in an area where there are a lot of people that depend on that, be aware that people in your area might be getting into that mindset. You know, we can all bemoan it at this point, we can complain about it, we can leave nasty comments about how, you know, President Trump is 100% right, the Democrats are 100% right. You know, cry and, you know, and scream as much as you like, but the reality is this could be coming because both sides are really entrenched in their positions. Trump says there's gonna be a wall, and, well, he's not really entrenched. I mean, originally there was gonna be a wall, Mexico was gonna pay for it. He backtracked from that. Again, negative comments below. Tell me why I'm, like, not supporting the president. Uh, and on the flip side, you know, the Democrats are really entrenched in this stance that the wall is ridiculous, which I kind of agree with, uh, and that they are gonna you know, keep this thing going because they think it's silly to pay for it. I agree that it's silly to pay for it, but, you know, I don't necessarily agree that it's good to have people, families, children starving to avoid wasting $5 billion. But whether I feel that way or not, that doesn't influence whether or not my neighbors are going to go crazy in about two months, and your neighbors too, potentially. So be ready for that. I've got the pantry stocked up. There are other measures which, you know, you can go to other, you know, uh, prepping channels about defense and all that kind of stuff. You know, I'm not going to give you any tips on that. I mean, I'm kind of green in that respect too. You know, there are defenses at this house, but you know, I don't live in a bunker. I don't live in a fortress. And uh, that's something I'd have to deal with as well. Maybe you will too. Think about it. Tick, tick, tick. 60 days, mid-February. If they don't find some way of playing nice, if they don't find some way of getting to rational, it may be something that you, I, and a lot of people are going to have to deal with. That's it. Thanks for watching. Good luck. Hopefully we don't get there, but we might. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.